Uh, in today's episode of Spectacle on TVN, we'll be looking at marginalization of ethnic minorities in states of Nigeria. Of course, we'll be defining what is marginalization. And uh, of course, from the English word marginalization, it is a treatment of persons, group, or concept as insignificant or peripheral. I just want you to mark the word and the uh, concept as insignificant. The concept could be defined as abstract ideas or general notions that occur in the mind or in speech or in thought, understood to be the fundamental building blocks of thoughts and beliefs, which play an important role in all aspects of cognition. Now, one thing to note, is the fact that people hardly change concepts. It is therefore left for the laws, either legislation from the state and the National Assembly, or an exclusive policy from the presidency to effect its takeoff, that all states should zone governorship seat across their senatorial district. Now, talking about marginalization, in marginalization of ethnic groups in Nigeria. That is the topic that we will be discussing on Spectacle Today on television, Nigerian. My name is Daniel Atai, I am your host. And with me is a political scientist, a young comrade by the name Udo Fred. Fred, you are welcome to television, Nigeria. Thank you, thank you, you know, Daniel Atai. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to commend the, the, the management of the television Nigeria uh, for uh, inviting me for this uh, great topic that, he, that has been the bottleneck, the bottleneck that has been a way out for the ethnic minority group cut across the 36 state of Nigeria. Of course. Now, before you go further, let me introduce to our audience that this is a live participatory audience program where you can call in via the phone numbers that we have already given it to you through our social media hand, uh, platforms yesterday. But for the benefit of that, for those who did not get the numbers yesterday to call in directly to contribute to your quotas, the numbers are 081-3. 0-5-9-4-9 and of course you can you know contribute to our social media platform like the facebook just google television nigeria search for television nigerian on your Facebook platform or watch us live from tvn.news. That is www.tvn.news. Now, like we were saying, with reference to Benue State, Benue State of Nigeria, we will be you know, using that as a case study to reach out to the 36 state in ethnic group where they have not been able to produce the gubernatorial, you know, uh, uh, seat. Talking about the governor of the state, uh, the governorship election normally is being taken by the majority people of the state, and uh, leaving, you know, the ethnic play of minority is insignificant. And uh, we want to tell us that democracy is not all about you know, majority. Abraham Lincoln never defined democracy uh, as uh, the, the, the option or the total you know, way for the majority people. He said it is a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And when we define it that it is for the people, by the people, and, for the, and by the people, it means that all inclusive, whether ethnic minority, or majority, a religious minority, or majority, they are all inclusive in, in democracy. For governance to try to prevail, and also prevail in our nation, 
we do need fairness in our democratic polity because fairness, equity are the, are the, uh, the ingredients that could bring what we call tranquility in our democratic institution and governance in general. Now, democratic umpires or institutions like the electoral body, INEC, and political parties should, as a matter of urgency, inject this policy into their guidelines to effect all inclusive equity, fairness, and governance. They have to zone the Guba seat so as to include minority ethnic tribes in power sharing formula. Though political you know, parties understanding in states like Delta, Edo, Kogi, Plateau, Imo, Baesa have practiced this norm by producing governors from minority districts in their states. Delta State, for instance, produced their first minority governor as Ifani Okowa from Anioma district of the state. The governor is from Ika Owa Alero. He was re-elected to serve the 29th May 2023 because he was just being re-elected. The same is true with Edo State when Comrade Adam Sushomole was declared winner of the seat in 2007 by the tribunal. He served two terms, and he is from minority community of Iyamo near Auchi in Edo State. And of course, in Nemo State, with 27 local government areas, it has always been Olu district with 13 local government areas that usually produced the governor. But Governor Emeka Ihedioha from Oweri district. Oweri district have nine local government areas, and he has clinched the seat. The likes of Achike Udenwa and Ikedi Ohakim and Rocha Sokrocha have had their tongues from the majority axis of the state. Now, in Plateau State, which is not central, rotation of the Guba seat from 1999 to date is being respected by political parties. The current governor, Simon Bakola Long, is from a minority Shendam of Plateau State. The likes of Solomon La, Jonah Jang, and Joshua Darye have had their slot from the majority axis as well. However, the case is different from Benue State, where minority ethnic tribe of the Benue South Senatorial District, known as Zunsi, has never clinched the governorship seat since its creation in 1976 talking about 43 years ago. The Idoma people of the Benue South have never, since the creation of state, you know, been elected or even dared to be governor in their own state. Benue says sit, of course, on a tripod of zones A, B, and C. You know, we have senatorial districts, yes, of course. you know, zone A, zone B, yeah, and zone C. C. Which is, they don't happen to fall to the zone C. Yes, yeah, I'll come to that. I'll define these things to them so that they can get where we are going. Always. And uh, zone C has produced distinguished, I mean, uh, zone A has produced distinguished senator Akume, that is George Akume, as governor in 1999 to 2007. That is two terms. Akume now is a ministerial appointee of President Buhari, and upon leaving office, he handed over to Senator Gabriel Suswan, who succeeded him from 2007 to 2015. He is from Zumbi Senatorial District. Originally, it was fair and of equity for the third zone, which is Zone C, to have produced the governor from 2015. Alas, the party's concerns, namely PDP and APC, and so on, rather played it down and ceded it to Zone B, axis of Minda, leaving the Idoma people of Zone C in dilemma in a state where they have nine local government areas and played enormous contributions to effect power in Benue State. It is therefore logical, democratic, fair, equitious, and transparent for parties, electoral bodies like INEC the state and national assemblies, as well as the presidency, to enact means of all inclusive power sharing formula across senatorial districts of our Nigerian states. With cognizance to Benue State, this will not only harmonize the ethnic differences, it will also bring tranquility in our polity.
Take a look at governors past and present of Benue State since creation in 1976. Look at the list. You will not have any minority Idoma uh, as governor since 1999, or even since the creation in 1976, creation of the state. Odufred, what would you have to say about this before we continue? Well, thank you very much. Like I just said, being a state, Idoma, to be precise, have been faced with this setback of not being carried along in, in a in inclusive governance of a Benue State when it comes to the position of governorship. Yeah. Uh, Conspicuously, uh, I would like to say that the the majority or the uh, the the thief who happen to be the dominant in the state should be or exhibit what they call brotherly and I don't I, 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 I don't think it is the problem of the team. Good. It the team are already majority in Benue State. Yes, of course. You can't take that from them. Good. You now they have the understanding that uh, the senatorial district from Zone C should produce governor. I think one time ago. Uh, it is left for the electoral umpire, like the party. The party should, you know, zone like it is done in a uh, emo state, of course. Ehe Dioha Okoa never emerge uh, governor because he's from a majority state. He is from a minority state of uh, Oweri. Oweri have nine local government. Oweri Aziz have nine local government. Why Oweri Chasokrocha have from have uh, uh, 13 local government that is all uh, living the side of the Okija, whatever, with uh, five. They have 27 local government. Now, it is the understanding of the parties, whether Abga, PDP and APC within them they zone the formula. But for elasticity, we would want uh, a legislation towards this particular problem because it is a time bomb that is even greater and more dangerous, pose dangerous threat than what we have today as a, a unrest in, in the streets of Nigerians because if you have the capability, you are well with that, you are educated, and because you are from minority, then democracy of majority, you know, hanky panky will be playing at you that you cannot emerge governor at your own state or the state where you hail from when you know you have the well with that. Yes. Oh, thank you, uh, Jinadan. Yeah. Uh, I think it will be a long way if uh, the legislative arm of government do something at the, from the Benue, from the Benue state, do something about it. If the Tiv and the Doma could not come together to do what they call gentleman agreement or who could produce governor in this time, then the next thing after eight years or thereabout, then they could produce, the other person could pro, uh, produce. In, uh, in as much as uh, we have two, uh, three senatorial districts from the Benue Aziz, mm -hmm. zone A, B, and C, they can only zone it. If it is a turn of the zone A because alphabetically it's from A, B, C, they can only see B, uh, A have produced, B produced, then C could produce. Uh, like I say, you know, in our today democracy, uh, I think let me start by say democracy is inseparable from the human existence, which is uh, that, that talk about integrity and peace of human existence. Yeah. With uh, democracy is inseparable. Yeah. So on that, for the Idoma or Idoma conspicuously to be carried along from the Benue as is on the world topic governorship election, on the governorship position yeah. in the state. There should be, there, there should be, if they cannot do a gentleman agreement, they should, what they call, the, the state house assembly should go into what they call mm -hmm. policy. Yes. You know, should go into what they call policy. That or, or, the, or the federal government, the, the national assembly. Yes. Could do it. Or it could even come from exclusive uh, policy from Mr. President. Yes, so that because, they split it around the whole. Yeah, yeah. They voted the state of Nigeria. Uh, and in a state that district should, should zone power formula, especially the Guba seat. The, the, the Guba seat should be a question of legislation such that the umpire, just like I said earlier, the umpires for electoral conduct should, uh, you know, put it uh, thought to the people that, look, we want transparency in, a, in our polity, in our democratic polity. We want fairness. We want all-inclusive government and as well as governance. 
we 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 want uh, equity in the sharing formula of power play uh, therefore there should be a law the the uh, the, the there should the, be a law yeah there should be a law i i ascribe to that uh, to that here. and if there is no law there should be policy exclusive legislative policy from mr president just like the way he gave in the uh, financial autonomy yes uh, you know if you have given the people oriented policy because minorities are not slaves they must live uh, minorities oh. also agitate to live and i think most time uh, there is a saying by karma that uh, minority people live better in a state where majority have become what you know blind to lead definitely you see that is what they don't matter as a minority they have taken their the whole they are taking enough to their to their to their archive in terms of they wouldn't want to re, to re vote against the, the 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 governor the the, the zoning policy of governorship in the state because um they want what they call gentleman agreement you know they are deciding like uh, i think they did say that say uh, nothing without us but uh, with uh, with us or something like that so if there that, some, that is there is no majority without minority yeah there's no majority without minority mm. and you know, some people went seemed, as far to say that minority have their say but majority have their ways there is nothing like that uh, you can have your way by number of uh, uh, you know number by number of population or count of population but in real sense of democracy you can have your way uh, of course, you see the what is happening in most states where majority tends to hang on to power without this understanding of sharing power with the minority ethnic groups. Of course, you of course you know that the minority to having known that the the amount to nothing in terms of power uh, seat of power in their state, they go out. They go, they out. go out and they perform better in Europe, in America. Even outside the state, their own very state, in other states, they perform better. But it is time. If a dog could do it, and a, a Delta could do it, Imo could do it, Plateau State could do it, and a Kogi, just nearby Kogi State. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, 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 the minority, uh, after the, 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 the majority, the man from the majority side, uh, uh, Aldo Obaka passed on. Prince Aldo passed on. Uh, the next person that the party decided that was announced is a uh, Yabelo from a minority, you know, uh, ethnic group. Yes. And uh, of course, is the governor today. Well, uh, I think if that is done in, in a state where the minority do not, do, does not have a fair representative, it will go in a long way because in a way where the minority does not have a say to contribute to the development of a particular state, it hamper development. It hamper development. Yeah. You know. So we should we should we should bring the policy. I think the government, the the the, the Benin State House of Assembly should look or bring out a policy that should that should, it, it, it should stand that it should let it be rotational. It to be rotational. The A will produce, the Zoom B will produce, and the, the Zoom C will produce. Then there will be one they call inclusive governance. And the same should go around the 36 states yes. in the country. Yes, I think For that fairness. Be, yeah, to even bring tranquility. For fairness, that is it. Because in a in a in a in a in a in a in a, in a, in a democratic uh, in a democratic sphere where there is is is, is meant to be the first or the fittest, mm -hmm. it doesn't tell good of the of that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't tell good, you know. So I think that would be that would be that would be done, and it is very very impeccable if you go to to stay in Benin State. Yeah. Okay. You you could recall that in 2015 it was actually the turn of. Uh, uh, zone C after uh, zone uh, A and B have spent 16 years. It was supposed to be the turn of zone C and uh, the incumbent governor from Minda took it and uh, he was uh, massively kind of voted for. Well, do you think he is ready to cede power to the Doma ethnic group uh, in 223? Well, uh... It's another thing again that we need to put into consideration. You know, there's also the problem, you see, is, is wanting to, to, to call for power and it's wanting to take power. Are the Doma people ready for this position? Of course, that, I, of course. Are they ready? Why won't they speak in one voice? This is another challenging point that you should put into consideration. So, uh, do, do you know that there is no tribe in this world, no no group of people or tribe or nation 
that speaks with one voice. I know, I know. But when it comes to this, okay, check, look at look at this from time inception. Since the creation of Benin State. Okay, we are, we are having a caller, okay. a, a direct caller, and uh, I think he's watching us. Hold on now. Okay. Uh, hello, welcome to a Spectacle Program on TVN. Yes, uh, good afternoon, please. Uh, good afternoon. Your, your name and where you are calling from, please. Yes, my name is Chief uh, Manex Johnson Agada. Okay. Uh, I am the actual global one of Obadibu Kingdom. I'm calling from Otuba. Okay. Uh, Obadibu local government in Benin State. Okay. Yes. What, what, what I, you, you are watching us and uh, you are listening to us on the topic uh, ethnic marginalization. What is your take? What is your contribution? Yes, I want to quickly contribute. Yeah, yes, go ahead. I want to. Are you hearing me? Yeah, go ahead. We can hear you. Yes, I want to contribute to my own quarter uh, because the issue of uh, marginalization of uh, the Idoma people in the state, I think the fault is from the Idoma leaders. Okay. The leaders, they are not sincere to themselves. Uh, everybody wants to be a leader. The fact that they cannot come together and produce uh, a single candidate as you know, a problem because everybody wants to be governor. Okay. That's a serious problem. If we want to be governor, if we want to be governor, we need to come together. Reason together as one family before we'll be able to move on. If not, I I am not seen us be uh, a governor of Benin State even come twenty twenty three. Uh, uh, you are from Benue, isn't it? Yes, I'm from Benue. And uh, can't you be governor by two twenty three? Can the leader stop you? Yes, yeah, the problem is uh, the problem is uh, our people are not ready to support ourselves. Are you hearing me? Yeah, I'm hearing. We're you. not ready to support ourselves. That is the problem. The problem is we don't have unity. The unity is not there. So these people can already come together and produce a single candidate. That's the problem. Okay, what do you think is the solution to that uh, uh, problem you identified? Yes, if, if, if the common people will begin to see that uh, they are minority because uh, we have the day B and C, they see people occupy A and B and we just C. So for us to be able to bridge them, then we have to come together as the day and produce a very, uh, a very uh, serious uh, candidate then we now look at the zone A and B and see how we can get some uh, uh, some votes from there. That will make us go. So what I am saying today is that our people should begin to see how we can unite, we come together and begin to uh, work as brothers. I think that will help us a lot. Okay, thank you very much. Where are you calling from right now? Yes, I am in Lagos as I speak, but I am from Otupa in Obadibo local government area of Belize. It's okay. Thank you very much for this wonderful contribution, um, uh, Manes Johnson. We have some couple of test uh, messages that have come in already. And uh, uh, this one is uh, Dutch uh, Daniel. And uh, he said the issue of our, uh, uh, Dutch Daniel said he's writing from Lagos. Uh, he said uh, the issue of the minority Idomas is actually that the old leaders don't want to give way and uh, if they give way to the youth, the Thief Nation will cede power to us. Our leaders are our problems, and they have long betrayed us. Thank you. Wonderful program. Thank you, Dacia Daniel, for that contribution. Uh, all right. You had... Uh, these two persons, they blame the, uh, the, the issue on the leadership of the Doma ethnic group. Uh, do, you, do you totally agree to that? Uh, like me, I don't agree to that. Thank you, Ingenadan. Mm -hmm. uh, like I rightly say, I think I was talking, I was, uh, I was going, I was digressing on that uh, as before the calling. I, I was talking about that before the calling, and uh, I believe that that is the area I'm going to. Okay. I asked you a question, are the Doma people ready to take position of power? Of and you replied to me, there's no ethnic in this nation that wouldn't want power. Yeah. I know power is sweet, but it's one thing to be ready for power and it's one thing to take power. Okay. Now, like the first caller said, if you want, if you want power, you must hold yourself together. Do you understand? Uh, you must hold yourself the, together. The, in the immediate past, Like this uh, common said, I said, uh, uh, a uh, united we stand uh, divided before the doma people are so divided to the minute position 
that when a, a, a minor position is being zoomed to that place, they, 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 that is where you see your godfather who okay. come in to see if they can sit that position to their, okay. to, to their let's, follower. Let's pick this call. Let's okay. pick this call. I think he sent us and he's calling again. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to Spectacle Program on TVN. Yeah, your name and where you are calling my, from, from my, place? My name is Adapte Daniel Godwin. Okay, we're just reading your test. Okay, I'm calling from I'm calling from Lagos, and I want to contribute my own quota on the topic marginalization of ethnic ethnic uh, minority. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm from Lagos, and uh, I've been so concerned about how my people are being marginalized when it comes to appointment in the state. And for the fact that the Federal State was, uh, was created out of the Federal State, the former Federal State, no Idoma person has been a governor. I could recall some years ago, I, when I traveled home, I was told that uh, Alpamoro was the leading contender. I think that was really the era of the governor Alpamoro, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And Honorable Alpamoro. The, the, the daughter of the tortive, the then tortive. Yeah, I'm hearing you. Go ahead. We're hearing okay. you. So at the end of the day, what I had was the result was very different. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, that's uh, Daniel. Your network is uh, uh, skipping, and uh, you may still find time to call again. Uh, because we really could hear you now. Uh, all right, uh, Dr. Daniel is uh, talking about uh, it is outright marginalization from the thief rather than uh, a process uh, led by leaders. And uh, he is of the opinion that uh, the thief people should give us the leverage, give uh, the Doma people the leverage uh, to produce a capable hand to lead uh, in 2023. I think that is his point earlier on. And he also blamed the leaders of Idomas for not uniting. And uh, you were talking about uh, Idoma unity in Benue State. Uh, is there any ethnic tribe in Nigeria that are united? Oh, thank you. Um, like the last, the, the, the second caller said, or uh, the third caller there, uh, I think uh, from Martin Luther King, he said, uh, power is not voluntarily given. Yeah, it's it power is taken. It must be demanded. You understand? But the oppressors, or well, the oppressed, sorry. Yes. You know? So, we, in, in as much as we know that we are being marginalized by these people, what stops us from coming together to unite? and fight for a single goal by producing a candidature of somebody from the Idoma minority extract to feature in this very, in the, this particular position of the governorship, uh, position in the government. Uh, Manes, Ma Manes, Manes Johnson said, the Domas, everybody wants to be leaders. Yes, I could remember everybody when Abamuru was contested for, for governorship. It, that was when everybody from the Idoma extraction are they contesting? Okay. Does that give them the insight of uh, producing or want to make, or want to, uh, to, 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 to become a governor? If you are contesting and I'm contesting, another person is contesting. Who will win? That is when they will see it will be, there will, if a teacher will come and yeah. somebody will come, they'll be disorganized. Okay. So disorganize us. It, 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 it happened in 2015 where we, we, we paraded only five, and of course, you see from the thief axis in the uh, of Benue State, there were uh, 27 of them came out. So you could see that it is not a problem from the Idoma axis. No, but they say what they, they say when they, they they come together, they go to the chief dom, which is the third thief. They settle every of the differences there. When the team and another thing again, with all respect to our tradition, 
If we have respect to our tradition, we can always settle, we we'll go there to we'll go to our kingdom, our heritage, discuss, come together to produce just a single individual. So the paramount um, ruler, the traditional they paramount ruler. They should have a contribution. But it has been politicized. Now you have a first class chiefdom, second class chiefdom, third class chiefdom in the state. Yes, that is where the problem lies. That is where the problem lies. But there's a and the paramount leader is Ochidom. Ochidom. We all know there's no see, there's no Jupiter. There's no Jupiter who will come and tell you that Ochidoma is not the paramount ruler of Idoma. All these are political appointments. And the era will come and go. Okay, the deity of Idoma, where is he reside? Is in the is in the palace of the Chidoma. We have all this. We have all this. You cannot be give, you cannot give somebody appointment because you want you have a political a political relation uh, and a, a separating political relation and separating the, the 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 culture and norms of that particular ethnic because oh. you want to make you want to tie political relationship. Yes, sir. Anyway, uh, thank you, Udo Fred. I. We have just less than five minutes to go. And uh, however, if call comes in, we'll pick before the time elapses. But OK, we have another caller calling in. I think uh, Manex is still calling again. Let's hear him. Uh, uh, hello. Yes, I have to call back again. My name is Chief Manex Johnson, Agada. Uh, go ahead. We've had you before. You can go ahead with your contribution. Yes, I want to quickly say what uh, your host, uh, your your guest uh, say concerning our position to have respect for our traditional rulers. Yes. It is really, really true. Okay. Because our position find it difficult to come together under this umbrella as leaders, as traditional rulers, so that they can bless them on what to do. They find it so difficult because all of them want power. If we know too well that these people are, are taking advantage of what they have two souls and we have one soul. Yes. That will stop us from seeing how we can come together. But in that case, we are a sellout. Let's take you back to the other election where people like uh, Samode and some other people had to step down and support the demon and get their own brother. Yeah. It is really, really sad. All of our people want to be leaders. At the end of the day, the demon will promise their commissioner and all that. They step down for them, they give their vote to them, and the government will lose out. So we are not really ready. If we are ready, we need to come together and unite first. We need to talk about the unity of Idoma before we begin to talk about who comes the government of Idoma. Okay, who okay. Comes the government from Idoma okay, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Manex, on a general note, in the yes. country, uh, we have yes. ethnic uh, minorities all over the states, the 36 states. What do you think should be done at the national level to incorporate ethnic minorities into leadership position, especially yes. the seat of, of the governor? Yes, thank you very much. It is really, really Sad. It is bad for the uh, people that believe that because you are a minority and majority to be taken because they look at it as the winner takes it all. It's not supposed to be so. Yeah. If this is on A, B, and C, it's, it's supposed to be rotational. And people are not doing so. The government needs to look at it. Look at the three territorial districts in the normal land, in the Tennessee. They need to look at it for one, two, and three. It has to be rotational. The government needs to act fast on that. Africa wants to bring the, the federal government on that, the National Assembly on that. They need to set the bill, they need to find a bill that tells the, the, the state that the uh, governorship has to be retentional. I think with that, we'll be able to solve this problem. Thank you very much. That, is a, that was a wonderful one there from Manex. Yes. Now, uh, with this, we'll come to the, there is a, somebody calling in again. Uh, calling from Abuja. Okay, uh, Mr. Sivanos, what is your contribution? Quickly, we have two minutes to go. If we are talking about minority here in Nigeria, we have to take back to the inception of this crime. We cannot forget the Harry Willing Commission on Ethnic Minority in 1957. Based on the contribution of minorities in the London government in 1953, the fears of the minority has been there from the beginning. But then they, they came forth, they came forth with the, the idea that human rights should be engraved in the Constitution. But now we have grown past that world. What we are talking about is domination of the majority ethnic groups in Nigeria, in those states. The only thing we can do is strengthen our electoral body, strengthen our democracy, 
the security agency should be decriminalized and professional. If we can be able to get it right through election, we will make sure that competence counts. Is a, and with a lot of people are still calling in right now. Thank you for your contribution, uh, uh, Sivanus. Uh, you are talking about legislation from the federal uh, level and uh, that we should, uh, you know, uh, strengthen our electoral, you know, bodies, electoral umpires, electoral institutions. Of course, we have electoral institutions like the INEC, we have the judiciary as one of the institutions, we have party politics as institution of, uh, uh, of our electoral body. So if uh, he is talking about strengthening them. And, uh, yes, and the electorate should be well sensitized. Okay, let me take this last call from uh, Onazi and then we close. Hello, you are live on TV and television Nigeria. Good afternoon. My name is Gideon Onazi. Okay, Gideon, go ahead with your contribution. We're talking about marginalization of the ethnic groups in states. Yes, uh, I've been following your program, and I think uh, this is a, one of the best programs you've ever carried on. I am so impressed. Oh, thank I you. Thank you for raising such an important opinion. Uh, thank you very much. So, I have the lot of this marginalization in minority community and let that become a gulf of state. Uh, I think uh, what the government should do is uh, if a good government of General uh, Mohamed uh, Buhari can introduce something like uh, a local government autonomy, whereby the governor of the state cannot have access to all the local government funds. I think uh, the federal government should also make it like uh, a compulsory or a zone that each community or tribe, each ethnic group in Nigeria can benefit the most of uh, this very governorship uh, position. Okay. I think that we help our state and it will be easier for everybody to benefit and I think it will be better. All right, thank you for that wonderful contribution. You still hinge it on the National Assembly and the exclusive policy of Mr. President to uh, making sure that uh, senatorial districts in state uh, have their own fair share of power uh, sharing formula. And uh, yeah. thank you. Uh, you are still there. I thought you are you are done. All right. Thank you for that wonderful contribution. Now. Uh, we will not pick any other call again. In my closing remark, I would like to put it forth to uh, uh, the state government and uh, uh, the federal government that, uh, of course, minority is also inclusive in democracy and uh, everything becomes legal when it is legislative. Uh, of course, we have the houses of assemblies in, in, in states and we have a uh, the National Assembly, uh, which is where all laws are being made and interpreted by the judiciary. So if we want tranquility, fairness, equity, and of course, uh, 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 all-inclusive in the governance, we should incorporate, we should try, do as much as possible. Power is sweet, but it is sweeter when you share with your neighbor, when you share with ethnic minorities. And even within the ethnic minorities, we still have minorities. So it should continue such that in the country, like in US, Obama, from the black minority uh, of Illinois, there are just 12%, percent i be 18% of the United States uh, population. He emerged president of the United States. And a lot, lot, lot more examples abound. So we should incorporate it, especially with reference to Benue State we should incorporate this. This is my last call and my last, after this call, I'm offering the microphone. Uh, Baba Lola. Yeah. Fine, good day. Are you contributing to the program or you are calling with, uh, huh? are you contributing to the program? <laughs> Which program is that? Okay. Uh, sorry about, we'll call, we'll pick your call later. Anyway, that will be all in today's program, uh, Spectacle on Television Nigeria.
Of course, Spectacle is your social, political, and economic program here, and you can uh, bring your scorecard to us, and uh, we can uh, vividly and explicitly send it to the audience, to the world. And uh, my name again is Daniel Atai. I am your host. See you tomorrow, and thank you for watching. Udo. <laughs>